When asked the question, is Days ever going to come back to the competitive scene or the pro scene for CSGO, the answer right now would certainly be no. And we need to shortly analyze, of course, in the past few months what has happened in his background. It should be a short answer, though, to give all of you guys. As of right now, will Days return to the pro CSGO scene? No, unless he receives an offer that he wants. So, of course, to analyze the past few months, I'm sure many of you guys are aware if you're watching this video or a fan of Days himself. Uh, he did take part in Mountain Dew League season uh, this past season. Actually did not make it through the entire season with his team GX. He was then replaced by Whitmer on that roster. The team started out very well. There was a lot of hype around that. It was kind of the peak of his YouTube videos and his streaming success as well as he streamed a few of those first four matches, which the team did win. I think they lost five of their last seven, something uh, pretty dramatic. And that was before he actually quit the CSGO scene altogether and went back to just streaming and doing YouTube videos where, of course, he's making more money than he was as a pro player for CSGO and making more money. Let's keep note of this. Uh, let's get a percentage out there. He is making more right now than, let's say, most likely 95% of CSGO pro players. Now you might think 95% is a bit of an exaggeration. Well, it's certainly not. Let's look at how many pro players are out there right now. We could say safely, let's let's count the semi-pros as well. People dedicating you know, a good amount of their time every single week, at least as much as a full-time job would. Uh, if you count all the semi-pros and pro players out there, you would easily say there are thousands across North America, South America, all of Europe, and of course the China and Asian season, scenes as well. You could safely say there are thousands of pro players out there and 95% of them do not make as much as Days does right now being away from the CSGO scene. Now, not really an exaggeration because we look at the top 20 teams as well. You guys can see on the list there on screen for all of you. We have Polish teams like AGO. I can guarantee you guys Polish team AGO is not being paid at least six figures a year per player. On top of that, we have teams like Big. They're currently not really a full roster as well. I, I guarantee they're not making $100,000 per player anymore. On top of that, we even go further down the list. Actually, I've talked to coaches out there on the scene. I can guarantee you guys people like Heroic, players from Heroic or Tai Lu. Tai Lu no longer in the top 30, but they previously were and, of course, are still a number one Chinese team. They're not making six figures per player salary. And I, we can also, of course, analyze this, Dazed is making more money through YouTube and streaming than any of these players can possibly be making. Uh, if you guys have looked at his past YouTube success, all of his referral links from gambling, so on and so forth, his YouTube views as well as his streaming donations and his viewership over there, he is certainly, and I, I know a lot of you guys might argue this, I can pretty much guarantee you guys he is making at least six figures per year. So that's why I kind of baseline that as a salary to compare him to other players out there. He is making more than 95% of CSGO pros and he's not even a pro player himself. Pro players out there like these teams, Heroic and Complexity, Misfits, LG, everyone in the top 30 right now who are not making six figures, they're giving eight to 12 hours of their day to play professional CSGO, to practice, to train with their teams, to possibly go to tournaments out there. And at the end of the day, they are still not making anywhere near as much as Dazed is. Dazed sitting in his room all day. Now, that's not to say that's a bad thing, of course. He's sitting down, he's streaming all day, you know, maybe four to six hours a day, maybe more some days as well, making a YouTube video every now and again. He's playing significantly less than he used to, but making way more than he used to. So the real answer is, I don't think he's gonna come back to the professional CSGO scene. He has no need to, I don't blame him at all, unless he gets the one offer he did want. If you guys have been a fan of his videos or watched his videos through, the one thing he does need is equity in, a, in an organization, and of course, this comes to a big dollar amount because if he, him and Swag and AZK actually want to join a team, he says they want an organization who will offer those players, or at least dazed himself, an equity in that organization. Of course, uh, when it comes time to sell the team, or maybe in the future, he wants those royalty fees. He wants to make money for life off that organization who signs him, and that makes the most sense for him in the future. There is no need for him to come out of his chair, to actually come out and actually have to put in the time and effort to play professional CSGO when he's making just as much as he possibly could away from the scene. So unless he gets an equity offer or a high, high salary offer from a team out there who wants him, Swag, and AZK, who couldn't even do that well on Team GX, he's not coming back to CSGO.